David Malman, uh, SOC. I am the Vice President at the Society of Camera Operators, and I am the producer of this year's 2011 Lifetime Achievement Award. Very gratifying to be recognized by your peers, you know, and uh, I don't want to give my speech away, but that's about it. Oh, the evening is wonderful. I'm so excited that that we are having this award show again. It's just it's just fabulous. It was fantastic. You know, uh, here at the Warner Brothers lot, it went very well. We were um, very pleased. And you uh, won the award this evening. Yes, Beautiful. It's very very special. To me. That's a question everybody asks today, and it's not a preference. I want to be able to see through a camera clearly so that you can tell a story. And so I don't much care about the medium. I'm very used to that. That's what I've known all of my life. We're digital, HD, HD, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the uh, Sony F35. I miss film. Yeah. I miss the uh, Panavision XL, or handheld especially. Um, uh, but there's some advantages I'm getting used to with the digital systems. You know, as a camera operator, what really makes a difference is the viewing system. And the Alexa is pretty good. I mean, it's getting better and better. I think some of the uh, film cameras are sometimes easier. Um, there were a lot of technical challenges. Um, there were challenges um, with uh, a new format camera. We were using the RED, uh, the first movie to use the Mysterium sensor. Uh, it was um, a learning curve for all of us on how to exploit that to the best of our ability. Keep the focus, but, yeah. but it allows us to put the camera in places you'd never get the other one. I just finished the picture that went to Sundance, and I just did some, I actually shot on film today. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. We always give a technical achievement award of product or equipment that, that helps the operator, and that's what the membership voted on. So. Don't give up. Call everybody you know. Keep bugging people. Do what I did as a child. Get the dream, follow it, keep the dream, and go for it. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Aww. Yeah, just, uh, she just wants to find a passion for it. Otherwise, you might find yourself not enjoying it as much as you thought you would. Do anything you can to get behind a camera. Really, really push hard to get to be the best you can be, yeah. and um, meet everybody that you can. And if you need to start shooting, to get behind a camera and start shooting. I think it's important to know what you really want. So you analyze yourself, be honest with yourself, and if you're willing to pay the price, long hours, competition. Shoot, shoot, shoot anything you can. Put film through a camera, put tape through a camera, put chips in the camera, get images, make images, whatever it is. Do it for free, do it anytime you can. I'm very pleased that, the, uh, that we can support the Children's Vision Center and uh, this um, will benefit uh, children. We were able to uh, raise money to pay for the event and also uh, donate money to the Vision Center. We uh, have donations, uh, I believe, at uh, www.soc.org. And uh, we have been supporting the Children's Vision Center for 32 years. And uh, we're, we're very pleased to uh, have them as our charity. Well, I think next year uh, we will uh, we'll look at Warner Brothers, and uh, possibly we will look at uh, going in June. Just to kind of get away from the awards. Uh, competition and uh, it's about the people who work behind the camera and uh, it's a tribute to them, the, the, you know, the people that uh, we work with. And